Hey, what's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video in Anmyoji with Scooter5666. Today, today, we are going to continue on a little bit with our discussion in a video yesterday. Uh, talking about effect hitting CC. Uh, I had a few people ask if I could try it using Mimic because there's some debate about how uh, the Mimic works. Um, so Mimic has or it's a 25% chance plus effect hit chance of to inflict a random debuff on the target when dealing damage. Now, the discussion is that, well, Mimic can inflict any status effect, right? So, is it a 25% chance plus effect hit to work and then a random number generator picking which debuff or is it a 25% chance plus effect it for every for each debuff over and over again could be um, monster gets no debuffs could be a monster gets four or five debuffs I don't know but uh I've, I've read some stuff that says that it's like the latter where it could be cr pretty insane where you could end up putting uh, like you have a really high chance of putting a debuff on them. So anyways, we're going to play around a little bit more. Um, I did have some people recommend the website uh, that helps you figure out exactly how the calculation works and I knew basically how uh, the effect hit and the effect resist part worked but I didn't know how it worked it was the multi hit um, and the stacking between the uh, the skill and the soul so um, the website they recommend it actually has all that information in there um, so it's it's here and I'm going to actually include the link to this web page in my description it has like all the TLDR on how all of it works so I will have that in the description for you to check out but I also uh, after reading this built myself let me see here a spreadsheet calculator that will let me calculate the CC percent chance uh, based on what I've got. So if so, I've got your whatever. If your skill has a CC hit, what it, and then whatever your effect hit, and then your if your soul has a CC effect hit, and then the number of times the skill you use ha hits. And then enemies effect resist and then it takes all that and calculates it uh, based off of the formulas from that website I just built myself a quick little uh, Excel spreadsheet and I put this formula in that references all of uh, these cells up here I don't know if you guys know anything about using spreadsheets or not but I know a thing or two so you can see here like if I change this to say like four hits like Utengo does and this goes to zero you can see that um, the CC percent is quite a bit higher because of the number of hits uh, so I will be testing that out as well so we're gonna go back to the game and try it with butt liquor here first um, so we got that's the other thing so we're using mimic and again mimic is the one uh, that has the um, random debuff so supposedly has a chance so we're gonna spar against the alt account again to test this out confirm it doing this on the computer today because I wanted to be able to show you guys the spreadsheet 
Okay. So let's hit ready. Ready. Come on. All right. Okay. I hope the sound is ever, is okay and everything because I'm using it. I haven't done this on the computer in a while. Mm -mm. Let's do this. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, so we got um, Confuse on two of them. We got Days on one. We got No Skill on one. And then we got, was that Heal Block or Heal Reduce on one. Okay. So let's try it again. Let's do this a few times just to see what we end up with. I'm not going to record it this time because when you're doing it with Mimic, it makes it so much more complicated. Oh, I gotta... There we go. Because there's all the extra effects in there. But I don't think that it's truly a like a like because with him it's a I think it's 59% chance it was. I don't think it's a 59% chance for every single one of those up until there's an effect on it because man, there's just like no way this that soul set would be so OP. It just it would be way too o overpowered. Anyways. Let's try it. And plus, I don't see... Okay, so he got Confused and Heal Break. But the Confuse is coming actually from... Uh, I believe that Confuse is coming from uh, Butlicker's skill. Because his skill has a chance of putting Confuse on. 20% plus effect hit. So that's why we've got two on there. But anyway, anyways, at least that's my understanding. Come on. All right, let's do it. Let's do it one more time, and then we're gonna switch over to Utengu and try it with him. Okay. All right, we'll do this. Okay, so we got a day then I confuse. One, two, three. So we got four confuses and a days. Okay. So let's switch over. So we got like right around it that time it felt like it was around 60% also. The chances of us getting it, so So let's see here. Let's go back to our shit gummies. Let's go to souls for him. Oh, I don't want to do Gabriel. What I do Where's Butlicker's profile? Okay, so just to recap, so 20% and 1. So, based on this formula, um, Butlicker had a 58.9% chance of inflicting a debuff, but Tango is going to be totally different because he does not have a skill CC, 
but he does do four hits with his main attack. So that is going to make Utengo's main attack have an 86% chance of inflicting a debuff. So, let's try it. Okay, except I gotta remember to make sure I don't forget to switch in. He's that terrible at remembering to do this. Hopefully, I didn't really think about whether or not my other teammates were faster. Hopefully, he's not too much slower than everybody else. Okay, good. I can still use her. Now, hopefully, the other thing is, hopefully, is not just kill everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I totally didn't think of that. He killed half of them. So he dazed two of them. Okay. Well, I may have to, real quick here, see if I can come up with a better, <coughs> excuse me, defense team on the enemy side. The only problem with that, well, let's just see what we can get here. I'm going to see if I can put a better team on the defense here real quick. Some hit points. There we go. The only problem with this is it's going to... Um, Potentially screw up turn. Well, I know I got a much faster bunny dance, but it's gonna also some of them of them are gonna have at least a little bit of effect resist. Although the amount of that effect resist does is, especially with them, it's it's gonna be negligible. They're not that that team's not gonna have very good effect resist. <sighs> But they should at least survive. Okay, so now this is interesting, okay? Because she ended up with two, and he ended up with two. He ended up with one, and then two of them ended up, or three of them ended up with nothing. So what's, what's strange to me is I don't think this calculation is right. I really don't think it's right. There's something else going on in the way that this works because there's no way with an 86% chance three of them did not, there's just no way, there's no way that three of them didn't get affected. It's with an 86%, I don't know man, I just I don't know, like real quick, I guess. Let me just go look at the team real quick here and see what everybody's effect resistance is. Okay, so the vampire girl's effect resist is 10%, 3%, 6%, 2%, 7%. and a 7%. Okay, so 10% was the highest, right? So let's just come over here, change this effect resist to 10%. Okay, so it brings it down to 83. Okay. So, there's something that's not right in this calculation. Something is not right. Oh, somebody's inviting me to a crack and should I help him? I'll just go help him real quick. I'll go help him. It's fine. Sure, why not? Oh, I should put it on auto. Okay, 
This isn't going to take very long. It's a weak Kraken. Oh, he's got, uh, who is that? Is that, that's one of the new ones, right? Is that, uh, is that Hannah? I don't know. I, I'll have to figure that out. Interesting. Yay, stuff. I like stuff. Stuff is good, okay? Okay, where was I? Alright, we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna do this one more time. <laughs> ready, ready, steady, go. Okay, come on, Otengu. Okay, so it's interesting. I put three status effects on this frog. That's the first time I've seen somebody get three. He got confused, he got daze and heal heal. Reduce reduction. I don't know what that is. Confuse, confuse. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe that is right. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess you can actually have. Uh, it is actually so. But what's weird though is it's an 86% chance that there must be some sort of a reduction every time because an 86% chance to hit and you would think for every single status effect you would think I would end up with like with six monsters I, I should end up with everybody getting at least one status effect to get unless like so maybe what it is is there's an 86 percent chance to get the first this is what i bet it is this is what i bet it is okay there's an 86 percent chance to get a status effect if they get a status effect or excuse me if they don't get a status effect that's it it stops if they do get a status effect, then there's another 86% chance that they're going to get another one. And then if they do get that other one, then there's another 86% chance, or whatever that percent is, that they're going to get another one. So that's why you can end up with more than one. But that's why when I've got an 86% chance for every single debuff that I don't have everybody getting at least something. Right? And it seems like it starts with either like confuse or daze or something like that I don't know it's hard to tell but daze and confuse seem to be or oh, heal block seems to be fairly popular too but now I kinda wanna go try it in like realm raids I kinda wanna go try it in realm raids like this Okay, I was using butt like earlier, so I gotta switch that. Gotta put a tango in here. Alright, ready? I gotta turn off auto. Alright, so let's do this. Do this. Do this. 
And we'll do this. Oh wow, Gabriel beat out him. See, that's gonna, that's no good. I gotta have more speed on him. Yep, I gotta pay attention to that. But, I mean, we dazed him, and so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna win. But, uh, might as well just put it on auto. Alright, anyways, uh, so that's all we got. So that's, uh, status effects again. Uh, I'll put the website that has that in the description. And then, in case you guys are curious, um, about this effect hit calculator if you use excel spreadsheets or open office because you're poor then um basically all i did was take this borrow the uh, uh formula from this website and plug it in here and then that's basically all i did all right uh, if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, and if uh, you have not already, please subscribe. I will keep bringing you more content. Alright, you guys take it easy. Have a good one.